Okay, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show how to make the ankimo, monfish liver. I think ankimo, everyone know, is very delicious. Everyone will love to order that when you guys go to sushi restaurant. Oh, some of them maybe know, but um, actually when people see that, it's like, wow, I didn't know. There's a have to do like this way. I'm gonna show how to prepare this ingredient but if you don't like it you can skip this video because it's not too disgusting I would say just the way that looks ugly but doesn't mean it's not good but I think you guys know it's not too much work it just take time to do I hope you guys will enjoy it let's do it this is the ankimo we are going to do um, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do and uh, what we have to do for this how to make this more tasty okay first we're gonna check any pieces um, check did they actually have any warm or something so we're gonna check first but it seems like this one doesn't have much yeah, if you see that that would be a uh, you guys maybe ah uh, there's a warm but for ankimo this is very long. Yeah, before that, I actually I took some. So there's a one. It's not gonna hurt us anything, but you just don't wanna eat this. They, I think they're selling at the Japanese um, supermarket. Yeah. So I will prefer to get the fresh, fresh one to make because you get from other company they already pre-made yes very tasty but you don't know how how they do the ankimo so I would say this is actually clean they have nothing but you know just double check the, the like on the side you can see sometimes but it doesn't look like I have much for this one They, uh, the worm actually will appear like outside. This is a big piece, easy to to find. Sometimes get like little pieces of liver. That that take a lot of time to to do because we don't only get like one piece. Sometimes you get like ten pound or even more. Like, like this guy, look, this is so weird. They have one spot like this. Probably there's a something. See? Yeah. That was right. There's a. There's a something there. Uh, after you took them out, they're not moving though. I mean, they move, but not like crazy. Sometimes they have the same color. Yeah, a lot of people at first, they like, oh, I don't want to touch that, but well, this is your job, so you have to do whatever when people are telling you, especially working at the one shop, sometimes, no choice, just do it, yeah, because everyone is doing the same thing, like making in, in the house, you only getting like small piece. It's like this enough for like a lot for customer. But if you only for for yourself or maybe uh, four people, small pieces is enough. I think most of the Japanese uh, supermarket really selling this. Also, when you buy this, you can tell they are so firm. Like uh, if the one not good, they look like. Mel, don't buy it. Sometimes when you take out that piece, it's melting on your head, so it's it's not good. Like the piece, I'm telling you, not good. Yeah, this area not good. I'm telling you. So we're gonna leave it later. See what we can do. So next one, we're gonna take out some tendon from the ankimo. Yeah, so we'll just take out this part. See, actually you can cut it out. Oh 
always is uh, something like this. So we're gonna take them up. Easy. Here. This part. To make it on Timo, try not um, do anything together. I don't use the same cutting board. I don't use same knife. I don't use the same glove because I prefer when you guys doing this, please use everything separate. Because probably when you're doing this, there's a warm actually on your hand, you don't know. Yeah. This one, this one, this one is melting actually right now. But we still have to try it. Okay. This is not good. Okay. Come. See what happens. Just try to do whatever you can save the ingredient. If the piece really not good then well no choice. This guy not good. This time just bad luck. Let's throw that away. Okay, so start to do the other piece. So put inside the, the water. Look, you can take out the skin from there. Like you, you put the ankimo inside the water. And look, this. This one easy, but sometimes the big one, I mean the small one, is very difficult to take. Like you take like a lot of time to do that. But I got lucky. This one is good. There's a couple way to do an chemo. Some other technique. You don't have to take out the skin because you're gonna coat the an chemo not steam it. but this is one of the the way that I learned from long time ago that you take like most of them out because we're gonna marinate in salt later because if there's a skin on it uh, you marinate in salt actually it's not gonna help if you're watching most of my video uh, I do a lot of salt for most of the ingredient. The reason is because I wanna take out the juice uh, from the like if you marinate in salt, all the juice come out. Yeah. So on chemo, we do the same thing. Yeah, do it in the water. It's faster, you know. If you think the water is getting dirty, just change the new water yeah sometimes when you're doing this you probably use can see the wall so you can actually also take them out yeah let's get your hands dirty you can wear glove but you don't have to i can do both um yeah i would say no glove actually is easier if you go to the workshop, not 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 everyone will do this. Just go to the, the place that you trust and then you eat the chemo. See? If the water like this, you can change water. And then we're gonna do the next one. I hope I didn't scare you guys like after this video. But yeah, this is how we make. So after done, we're gonna dry it. Let's marinate in salt. This is the most important part. Just you have to do it. You don't have salt, don't do it. Okay, get all over. Depends how big. So like this big, I would say just go for like uh, I would say just go for like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. If like you're getting a small piece, 
Let's just go for 20 minutes. Or just don't put too much salt. This area, this area, just a little touch of salt is okay. But like this area, if really too big, there's a one, one way you can do is just a little cut right here. You can put some salt on it. So everything even balance. I just set the timer for 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 me I'm gonna set it like um, 35. See what happened. If all the juice come out, you can tell like uh, around like 30 minutes and all the juice come out, then you can determine like maybe like go for more or less but also don't let the other touch the um, chemo yeah just leave it like this so now take a look about like 35 minutes I would say it's pretty much is done it's all the liquids already here so um, it's ready to wash we, we dry dry the chemo from uh, after washing the salt and we dry the chemo inside the bowl, I put the sake inside. Put the sake inside for 20 minutes. You can you actually the sake we don't cook, so it tastes bitter. But uh, we later we're gonna steam it. So I would say just. You can put 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Yeah. After that, you just place another plastic on the top. Leave it for 20 minutes. Alexa, 20 minutes. Now after we we marinate in the sake about 20 minutes, we take it out and then we dry it. And we're gonna wet. We're gonna wet the antimo using the foil. Uh, somebody actually was using the plastic wrap first and then they do foil but um, I only do using foil yeah. I, how big you want the piece for your unkin I will say this size is actually one piece of that is perfect and then pour it like this if you do at home you don't have to be like very perfect. And then you lock here and the other side do the same. Some professional people after they do the plastic wrap they will actually pinch the hole. Uh, they release all the air out so make it more more tight. But um, I don't do that way. I just do this. It's more efficient. I would say just like this is uh, perfect enough for me. After putting the sake warm, actually will come out. I don't know why. Probably they got drunk. They have to uh, come out. Yeah. So yeah. So after sake, you can double check everything again. So yeah. Like this. Very fast. So from those on chemo, I have uh, four pieces now. Now we're gonna steam. We're using this pot. I always say this pot is very easy to use for steam. I think this is even better. If you want, you can order from our place. But for for the shipment, it's take long time. So if you guys want, just order ahead. I think this this took me like a one month. To get this sh the shipment, so I have uh, four pieces, right? But I'm not gonna use everything, so because I have some other stuff to do. Sometimes you steam like a uh, ten minutes to fifteen minutes. It all depends the size, though. So I would say I'm gonna steam this guy probably like twelve minutes. So for twelve minutes. 
So when the time is done, now we can take it out. The yeah, chemo and turn off the fire. So usually after done, I usually put in the fridge. If you have to use right away, I will suggest just put in the freezer. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes, cool it down so you can serve right away. During the wait time, I think you can do something else. You can do some uh, back home oloshi. So I did that a couple of times, but this time I actually with the uh, red pepper inside. This is spicy. So about like 10 to 15 minutes, you can actually take out the ankimo. I can smell this is very good. The rest, you can leave it, maybe for tonight dinner or maybe do something else. On the plates, serving. Just do your way. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna eat this. Looks very good. Who we'll make that? Oh my god. Mmm, so good. This is how I make the Ankimo. If you like my video, please subscribe and hit the like so I will see you next one thank you by the way um, I'm gonna start a vlog video like going to other sushi restaurant or other restaurant to eat uh, from next week because I think not many people like to watching the way I cook uh, some of them they said it's too difficult so I decided oh probably I go some other restaurant to eat maybe I will bring some friend maybe just myself but um, yeah we'll see what happen yeah if you have time or if you're watching this channel so I need your help to subscribe 